respected uh, principal scientific advisor to government of india dr vijay raghavan uh, my principal secretary in government of telangana mr jayesh ranjan and uh, to the entire team of uh, psa and also to the various stakeholders uh, of the life sciences ecosystem in telangana and particularly in hyderabad thank you very much uh, for this honor to be uh, you know joining you in this wonderful uh, occasion dr vijay raghavan you know you said the politicians want solutions by friday evening let me remind you it's it's a friday today and it's 11 o'clock so i am looking for answers by today evening is what i'm saying um jokes apart i love what you said uh, 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 um, you know Ms. mr raghavan on the idea of cross functional course credits you know for uh, for our students for our youngsters because i think that is the way forward i think that is absolutely the way forward um, you know i've seen numerous instances of uh, students from humanities in the united states you know ending up as doctors in biology um, so we need such amazing uh, cross functional expertise in our youngsters as well if we really have to move ahead forge ahead and uh, you know start finding solutions not just for india but for the rest of the world as well since the formation of the state of telangana in june 2014 we have successfully started many new initiatives to bring prosperity through science and innovation in fact i am a fun i am a firm believer in the philosophy that research is the bedrock of innovation and that's why what we've called our entity here is the research and innovation circle of hyderabad which aims to bring about as you po correctly pointed out a collaborative effort between the various stakeholders and the wonderful scientific labs that uh, we have in hyderabad sir you have said we have 39 labs but let me uh, let me uh, tell you sir those 39 belong to government of india or have uh, various associations with government of india but if you also take into account uh, various other labs in telangana we have more than 60 labs if you also include the private private sector and multinational uh, labs here we have more than 60 so it's a vibrant ecosystem here um, which has evolved over a very long period of time we're very delighted to launch this new initiative uh, the hyderabad cluster in partnership with the office of uh, uh, principal scientific advisor to government of india and as i pointed out telangana has chosen innovation in all areas as its uh, core philosophy our focus on innovation is broad based covering students rural population farmers women and in addition to industry and academia hyderabad is home to like i said more than 40 research institutions in the government sector and many multinational research institutions in the private sector and a large number of research organizations also are, are based in hyderabad we are proud again that hyderabad based pharma companies are leading the national effort in developing wonderful uh, you know uh, drugs and pharmaceuticals for human good and we are also delighted that hyderabad today is a vaccine capital of the world in fact one third of global vaccines human vaccines are produced from hyderabad and we are delighted that uh, bharat biotech and dr ella is also with us today just like our vaccines and drug manufacturers who are the biggest producers in the country our agriculture companies are the largest providers of seeds nationally also hyderabad is already known for its excellent digital technology capabilities which has spawned out many unicorns 2020 was announced by us as the year of artificial intelligence in the state and now ai is a part of not just our digital industry but it is also being used in life sciences agriculture governance and many other areas our use of ai will grow exponentially as more startups are supported to speed up their journey to market by state enablers like tihub and uh, hyderabad is also home to many of the top global technology companies all of this is possible because we recognize that collaboration between industry academia civil society and government is critical for the success of the research and innovation challenges that we face today after the last year's experience the importance of collaboration as you pointed out and multidisciplinary research is of course clear to all we have also actively supported other states to build their innovation capacity psa's cluster initiative fits perfectly with our planning and with our belief system telangana state has itself set a goal to be the preferred center of excellence in asia for life sciences digital technology 
agriculture and smart manufacturing. The Hyderabad cluster is not just solving big problems. It is also to bring, it is also about bridging the gaps in the ecosystem. It's helping SMEs in biotech as a part of the national initiative to make the country self-reliant in reagents. There's already state, the state started a number of initiatives with uh, PJT, SAU, our, our agriculture university, rich and the state IT department to bring effective technology to our farmers to increase their incomes. Working jointly with companies such as Scient and Zintio, they, we have also created a number of test beds in hospitals so that new diagnostic products can be verified and evaluated by medical experts. We are setting up centers of excellence for waste to wealth. We have brought together national and transnational research institutions to improve nutrition for women and children. And we are using IoT and biotech solutions to reduce mosquito menace that we face today in our cities. Longer term, Telangana will focus on global leadership through strong research and education in personalized medicine and appropriate nutrition for every citizen. We look forward to jointly partnering with PSA and his team on many more such initiatives nationally and globally. Once again, truly delighted and uh, it's an honor to join this esteemed uh, gathering as a participant. Thank you very much.